this year we launched a new series in which local news reporters share their favorite stories about people and organizations uplifting the community. It's like my favorite new thing. We're doing this all season, and at the end, you, our viewers, will choose your favorite story from all of them. This is Good Neighbor of the Year. Jesse. Joining us now is news anchor for WTAE Channel 4 in Pittsburgh, Kelly Sasso, along with the executive director of the Homeless Children's Education Fund, AJ Jefferson. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Oh, man, we're so excited to have you. So, Kelly, you not great name. Um, you nominated the Homeless Children's Fund, um, Education Fund, I'm sorry. So why did you feel like this was the one, the organization you wanted to point out? Well, first of all, we love that you're running this segment because being a good neighbor is actually deep-rooted in the culture of Pittsburgh. Yeah. Mr. Rogers is yeah. from the Pittsburgh area. I didn't even put that together. Yeah. All of us grew up watching the Mr. Rogers show, and so yeah. when our station, WTAE, saw the work that AJ and the Homeless Children's Education Fund was doing, we were inspired that they're taking care of our smallest and our most vulnerable mm -hmm. neighbors. And unfortunately, Pittsburgh is like a lot of other cities right now in that homelessness is really surging, especially since COVID. And whereas we used to see a lot of older individuals who were facing housing instability, those groups are now growing to include children as well. Mm -hmm. And as we all know, children are our future, right? They're our next group of leaders and influencers. And so if we can't help break that cycle of homelessness, the next generation is really at risk. And so day to day, you're going to hear about the work that they do. But big picture, we look at it like they're really saving the future of Pittsburgh. I love that. <laughs> and you're right, especially Thank since you. the pandemic. Homelessness, like in every city, especially this one as well, um, it's just, it's so overwhelming that it you is. don't even know where to start. Absolutely. Um, so AJ, explain exactly what the organization does. Absolutely. Homeless Children's Education Fund was founded over 20 years ago to support students experiencing housing instability. Mm -hmm. We started off by providing simple things like book bags filled with school supplies. 20 years later, we're providing tutors wherever our students are, shelters, schools, libraries, front porches, wherever they can get to, we're providing that tutoring support. Because what we do know is that every time a, a child transitions to another home or another living situation, they regress in their education four to six months. So our tutors <sighs> come in to help fill in that gap. We're also focused on college and career planning because the goal is to get them through high school graduation, hopefully into post-secondary education, but high school graduation is vitally important so they can secure a livable wage. So we have staff that work with our students to do just that. I love that. And you, <laughs> like, they see value in themselves because you see value in them. Absolutely. It's such a beautiful thing. So AJ, you provide more than educational resources, right? Absolutely. So yeah, we do provide the tutoring, but we understand that if we're not taking care of the student and the family's needs, that they can't focus on education. So mm -hmm. we have a social worker who makes sure that parents, if they need housing, connects them to housing. Um, if they need food, if they need clothing, whatever it is they need, that social worker is wow. there to partner them with those resources we provide them ourselves. Additionally, we do provide college and career planning, like I was telling you. Um, we do pay for our students to intern at major companies, small businesses, and major corporations in Pittsburgh. And we do what's called the HTLA Awards, our Hope Through Learning Awards. So I said, priority is getting that student through high school graduation. What comes after high school graduation? It's either college or career. The students that choose to engage in post-secondary education, mm. we give them cash in their hands, $2,500 reward for them to continue to pursue. And that money is used for those miscellaneous things that you're not thinking of. Mm -hmm. What it doesn't do is it doesn't go directly to that college or institution they're receiving the education. It goes to the student so they can use it the way they see fit for the priorities that are happening in their lives. Because every life is different. Every, Everybody, life every is need different. is different. Every yeah. need is different. Absolutely. Well, Kelly, the program is enormously successful. So can you explain how? Well, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. And, you know, there is a, it's been shown a really direct correlation between getting your high school diploma and ending up without housing and stability in the future. So kids who aren't graduating have a much greater chance of ending up in a homeless situation. And so this, their work is really breaking the cycle. And, and talking about the proof here, the numbers, 90% of the kid, the teenagers that they're working with, end up 
graduating high school. Yes. Ninety percent. Look yes. at all those lives that were saved <laughs> too. <laughs> Given opportunity. Yeah. That's so cool. And seventy-five percent go on to either go to college or have a career that leads to financial stability. And they're working right now with about five hundred kids a year. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. kind of do the numbers there with the ninety percent. Yeah. It's amazing. And I know they have aspirations to do even more, which yes, we know we that they will. Yes. But yeah, yeah, I mean, really, just making a real noticeable difference for the impact, you know, the lives of these kids. And it's not, it's the, it's their lives, but it's also their family's lives Absolutely. and their future kids' lives. Like you change so many. That, I think that's why when people think, oh, it doesn't directly impact me, I'm like, yes, it does. Yes. If you live in a community where housing is an issue, right. unaffordable housing, like. It's your problem. It is. You just aren't seeing how it's your problem. Not opening your mind to see yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. No, I agree. Mm -hmm. The Homeless Children's Education Fund has some big supporters in Pittsburgh, including Steelers running back Najee Harris. Right now, he's at his training facility along with someone who got support from the organization throughout high school. We'll talk to both of them next. So the program helps unhoused kids succeed in school by providing one-on-one -on -one tutoring and a schooling or career plan that sets them up for success. One of their biggest supporters is Pittsburgh Steelers running back Najee Harris. And right now we have WTAE's Elena LaQuatra hanging out with him at the team's training facility. What's up, y'all? Hi, Kelly. That's right. You know, I'm sure I don't need to introduce this guy to many of you, but this is Pittsburgh Steelers star running back Najee Harris. We also have the Steelers fabulous mascot, and we have Michael, who has helped through school and college thanks to the great work of the Homeless Children's Education Fund. So we're going to start with Najee here. Many of us, especially here in Pittsburgh, know your story. But for those who don't, can you share why this cause means so much to you? Yeah, um, you know, for me growing up, uh, I'm the youngest of five. Um, so, you know, just to us living in um, situations where, you know, we didn't have the, the most, you know, we was homeless ourselves for a number of years. But, um, you know, we always really didn't complain about what we had, what we didn't have. Um, we made the most of, of, what, of what we had, and, um, you know, we persevered through it. Being in a position to help out a lot of people, um, then, you know, it was, it was you know, I felt like it was my duty to, to give back, and, you know, this is one way that I, I choose to do it. And I know you love being a role model to the kids. That's become a passion of yours. Tell us why. Um, you know, just, just to help out kids any way as possible, you know, because when I was, you know, I'm the youngest of five, like I said, um, but when I was young, you know, to have somebody there um, to, to say it's, it's going to be okay or to have somebody there in the corner that, that maybe can, you know, you could talk to and you could relate to in situations that they're going through. You know, I, I was going through it. So, um, you know, for me to, to, to be that person, for them to, to feel like, you know, a little comfort and in, in what's, what they're going through, and I want to, I feel like, you know, I'm that person. And I'm sure they love being in you, seeing you, hearing your story. And you also have your own foundation, The Bigger Picture, and yeah. you raise money to help this cause. Yeah, so uh, The Bigger Picture, that's my foundation. Um, that's one thing I wanted to start when I left college. This is my second year. I um, went to Alabama, so one thing that I did when I left college was I went to my team and I said, you know, I want to start a, a foundation, and um, I named it The Bigger Picture because, you know, I know everybody goes through tough times, and, you know, you got to look at the bigger picture of things that, 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 that you know, it might not look clear right now, but, you know, the bigger picture, it's, 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 it's better things down the road. So, um, you know, I do a lot of things. I help out um, with, obviously, what we're talking about now, you know, um, but I go speak to kids, um, obviously raise money for my nonprofit, and I, I try to give back as much as I can. And we see that, uh, you know, Najee here is all over Pittsburgh all the time. And, Michael, we also know that you were helped by the Homeless Children's Education Fund. Tell us your story. Yeah, so, you know, growing up, I had a pretty difficult situation. In fact, my first experience with homelessness was in a domestic violence shelter. But when I got older and I came out, that situation became increasingly unsafe for me, so I knew I had to leave. So, you know, when I came to Pittsburgh, I basically had nothing. I had to go and get an ID. I had to do all this, like, document work. And, you know, I was kind of staying with different people, and I was staying on couches. And before I got my own place, there were times where I didn't have anywhere to go. You know, so that was a really difficult situation, and I knew the only way I was going to get out of that situation is if I could get an education, and HCF made that possible for me. So they gave me the Hope Through Learning Award, which was a $2,500 scholarship that made sure that my college career wasn't dead in the water before I even got started. You know, they hooked me up with a, uh, a caseworker who made sure that I had summer housing so that when schools closed down, I wasn't homeless over the summer. You know, they even brought me back for an internship so I'd have the opportunity to, like, give back to the community that gave so much to me. So, you know, it's really weird to kind of look back on my life now because it feels like an almost completely different life. You know, I have a nice job. I work for the Native American Bank, which I absolutely adore. I have, you know, a nice apartment. You know, I've graduated college and 
All of these things that I didn't always think was possible are things that HCF has helped done for me and things that they continue to help other kids in Allegheny County do. I love that. You guys have both been so successful. Thank you for sharing your stories. Wow. I had chills just listening to them, as I'm sure you did too, Kelly. We're going to send it back to you in Los Angeles. Oh, my gosh. That was just incredible. I love doing this show so much. Thank you all so much for sharing your story. And Najee, that's so cool that you're sharing your... I know that you're sharing your time, but even sharing your story, the fact that you've been there and showing kids that like what you come from is not necessarily where you're going, that is so cool and so important. Um, and congratulations on graduating college. That's so amazing too. He's working the Native American. That was so cool, Michael. I'm so proud of you, Michael. That's so awesome. A big thank you to Najee, Elena, and Michael, everybody. Thank you so much. Scholastic believes all children deserve access to quality education and the opportunity to thrive in and out of school. So to support AJ and the Homeless Children's Education Fund's crucial work, Scholastic is giving them $5,000 in books to help enrich your mind. But that's not all. They're also giving the organization $10,000 just to help out. <laughs> oh, like, oh, my God. I saw the tears, and I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't. <laughs> no, absolutely. It's incredible what you're doing. I mean, even just listening to what just happened, that was so incredible and powerful. And it really, it really is a crisis. Like, yes. the housing, housing is a crisis it all is. across the United States, well, and the world. Yeah. But like, you know, we gotta help our people here. We gotta help them out. And this, you're doing such a beautiful job. Thank you so and much, And look at the Kelly. lives you've changed. Absolutely. Absolutely.